Hello friends, in this video we are going to install a new RAM in our laptop. So we have ordered this new RAM from Amazon. So let's first unbox it and see how it looks. I am not using scissor because of this corona thing. So I don't want to clean that again. So that's why I am just using my hands. Okay, so this is what we got from inside and we have a bill also there, nothing else, so we can keep it aside. Yeah, so, okay, so this is Kingston memory upgrade, upgrade. so this is 8 GB RAM, so let me see yeah so yeah so this is kingston value ram 8 gb 24 dimm ir into 8 so let's see and this is made in taiwan as it is written over here. okay so as such it looks perfectly sealed So let me Yeah this part would yeah that is what it is trying to stop me from was from opening this so now you can see that this containers hold this so actually I shouldn't have touched it but anyway it's okay yes so next we will try to install this so let's first see what is the current status of RAM in this laptop so we will go to system monitor and here you can see we it is showing 7.7 GB because we have a RAM of 8 GB already there so we will try to add one more RAM of 8 GB and we will see how much it becomes after that and how does it perform So this is the RAM so I will open it and uh, try to keep it aside because So let's keep it aside. Yes. So this is HP laptop where we have to just open this back panel. So let's start opening one by one. And let's see how it goes. So first we will open all these screws, there I think only okay, there is one more. So the next thing is Actually, there are screws below this pad. Actually, you can 
Just raise two. Films should actually go along with this guy. Anyway, if you try to open it many times, it will get unsticky. I mean, this glue will start missing. So, there are four screws on this strip. And now uh, three screws on this other strip. Yes. So we do not have any other screw. Yes. Okay. So we'll try to open this using this metro card. Let's see how it goes. So actually there are some locks which will start opening as you know. So this is it. So this panel does not have any component. So this should be easy to remove. Uh, yeah. So this. So nowadays almost all components are there on this main panel. Okay. So last time I changed this SSD inside and I put this disk drive here. So we have a slot here for RAM. So this is. The older RAM and this we have here is new RAM. So let's see. Yes. So before that I should somehow open it. Okay, so you do not need to open that. You can just slide it, and after pressing it, it will just get locked, just like this guy. Yes. Yes. So hopefully, it should work. And actually, one more component can still be upgraded. That is this thing, which is this for SSD. So I can see that if you look at this port, this notch, there is this one notch in between. So when you are purchasing this, this SATA M.2 kind of uh, SSDs, then you, you can look that something like this should be used. And you can maybe you can read this is written that this SATA key dot M NVMe. So basically it says that it can support NVMe and so you can see this is the length of the stick and hopefully it should work fine. So now we will try to close this because we do not want to upgrade anything else. Yes. 
या इवन बिफोर वी स्टार्ट क्लोजिंग वी शुड चेक वेदर थिंग्स आर वर्किंग और नॉट सो यू कैन सी दैट द स्क्रीन इज रनिंग so i will try to check whether ram is detected or not so we'll see at the system monitor and yes it is showing 15.6 gb so that clearly indicates that now we have 16 gb of ram properly working so let's close this and we need to screw all the things back so before we start screwing we should at least press this so that all these screws are i mean all these plastic locks are properly locked it seems okay to me so it's good that all these screws are of the same size so i do not need to worry about i mean because in my last laptop these screws were different so nowadays opening this laptop is easier but only trick is that you need to remove these strips are in earlier models you can replace the at least ram with just one screw now you have to open the whole panel that is not a good thing Now okay, get this thing is left. Yes. Yes, it is opening again. So we have successfully upgraded the RAM.